a fantastic park on the shores of Lake Como, an impressive Grand Hotel and a selection of 51 dream classics. This is the mixture that makes every year's Concorso d'Eleganza at the Villa d'Este one of the most appealing classic car events all over the world. An exclusive weekend, which was relaunched by the BMW Group years ago, at the place where the automotive concours started in 1929. This year, the Concorso d'Eleganza was held under the motto in 80 days around the world, voyage through an era of records. As in 1873, when Jules Verne had written the book, the Villa d'Este was opened as a grand hotel. Only a few years later, the automotive history began and more and more adventurers discovered the world with their vehicles, which surpassed each other as rolling works of art. The highlight took place on Saturday at the last weekend in May. The presentation of the high-class vehicles in the park of the Villa d'Este as 88 years ago. The highlight of the Concorso d'Eleganza is the presentation ride over the terrace of the Grand Hotel, passing the guests, marveling at the beauties and enjoying the champagne. In nine classes, the classic cars entered the beauty contest for the coveted Copa d'Oro. There were some real rarities among the vehicles. Real items such as the Astra Coupé, built in 1952 by the US American custom car designer Jay Everett. Everett was only 24 years old when he designed the vehicle. This vehicle is an absolute unique and is characterized for its very clear and progressive shape for the 50s. In order to allow the lowered front, the Oldsmobile V8 radiator was placed in the rear of the vehicle. The Astro Coupé is built on a tubular frame with an aluminium skin. Another unique was presented in the class Little Toys for Little Boys, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta SS Prototipo. The design, an unusually long-drawn body with a heavily beveled front end, a long roof line and a smoothly drawn rear. After the presentation at the Turin Motor Show in 1957, the car disappeared for almost 60 years. Now the Italian collector of unique prototypes, Corrado Lopresto, presented this prototype from 1957 at the Concorso d'Eleganza 2017 and won the prize Best of Show, the Jury Prize. I'm super happy to receive this prize as it's the first time we received the prize from the jury. We've won four gold cups in 17 years but never this prize. The Copa d'Oro was also won by a genuine rarity, the Lurani Nibio, from 1935. It was built by Giovanni Lurani Gianucci VII, Count of Calvenzano. He designed this little racing car with just 495 cubic and 48 horsepower, with which he drove almost 160 races, including the Mille Miglia with three classifications. The award was received by Lurani's grandson, Federico Gacciapepat. The vehicle is still family owned in the third generation. The opinion of the audience was split by the Maserati A6G 2000 Grand Sport Coupé with a Frua body, which was auctioned several years ago at the auction of the Bayon collection. The barn find was technically completely overhauled by its owner from the USA, but the patina of the vehicle has been preserved as far as possible, purely in the sense of originality. Since its revival, the owner Jonathan Siegel has already driven 3000 kilometers with this vehicle. Unfortunately, the Maserati did not want to run for the drive over the terrace of the Grand Hotel and had to be pushed past the audience. Oldest vehicle in the field was the Lancia 12 HP Tipo 51 Alpha from the collection of the Italian collector Corrado Lopresto, built in 1908. It is the oldest existing Lancia. 
Sometimes it was worthwhile to see the interiors of the exhibits, like in the case of the pre-war vehicles. For example, in the 1926 Rolls-Royce Phantom I, Bruffin de Ville, whose Lando Reform is a real surprise. The interior is modeled after a sedan of Marie Antoinette. It looks like a small Rococo room. Clarence Gask, once financial director of the Woolworth Group in London, once made this splendor for his wife. The magnificent car is also nicknamed Phantom of Love. The jury prize of the most beautiful interior, however, went to the owner of the Tatra 77 C30 from 1933. In the class goodbye jazz, hello radio, full speed into the 1930s, two large convertibles of the German pre-war history competed. On the one hand, the Horch 853A sports cabaret with a displacement of 5 liters and 120 horsepower presented in Berlin at the Auto Show in 1935, and the Mercedes Benz 770 convertible with a displacement of 7.7 .7 liters. He was the largest representation vehicle of its time. But winner in the class became the Alfa Romeo 6C 1750 Gran Turismo of 1932, with a special body of Castagna. Impressive racing and record cars presented themselves in the class speed demons, endurance pioneers of the Golden Age. The Bentley 4.5 litre with its long drawn out streamline bodywork, which was once driven by Sir Henry Ralph Stanley Birkin, at a round record at Brooklands. Birkin reached an average speed of 222.03 km an hour. The consumption also proved to be a record, because it was almost 100 liters per 100 km. In September 1921, the French Ballot 3-8LC won the very first Italian Grand Prix. For the Italian nation it was a bitter defeat since one hoped to the successful victory of an Italian brand. But the Beaulieu also proved itself very successful at the 500 mile race in Indianapolis and finished in 7th place in 1920 and 3rd place in 1922. In 1923 the Beaulieu came to England and was piloted by Malcolm Campbell and Jack Dunphy. A record-breaking vehicle from the later era was the Abbott 1000 Yalbero record from 1960, with which, in the same year, several speed records were recorded for a record-breaking ride on the Monza Autodrome, including the record in the class 1.1 liters during the 10,000 km circuit, with an average speed of 191.376 km an hour. The Samson G72 Coupé from 1951 with a Saucic bodywork is pure elegance. In contrast to former Saucic bodies, the Samson body is rather modest, but still very elegant. Luxurious elegance is represented by the Lagonda Rapide from 1962. Strongly in contest, the Fiat Otto V Supersonic from 1953, with the sheet dress from Kia. On occasion of Ferrari's 70th birthday, the relevant exhibits weren't missing, including the single-piece Ferrari 250 Europe GT Speciale from 1955, with a Pininfarina special body. This Ferrari is a real unique. It has a few special features such as the elliptical shaped radiator grill with a framed Ferrari horse, two rear window wipers and a beautiful dashboard. The Ferrari 250 GT California Spider is one of the most expensive vehicles on the market. At the Concorso d'Eleganza 2017, the American owner brought the California Spider prototype from 1957. Yeah, 
The Ferrari 365 GTP-4 Competizione, which proved himself particularly successful in Daytona, was loud and impressive. The Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta short wheelbase competizione from 1960, which contested at the Tour de France from 1961 to 1963 and achieved the fourth place in the last participation, has also pure racing genes. Around one third of the registered vehicles came from overseas this year, such as Australia, Argentina and the USA. Also from the USA came the Fiat 1100 Parqueta, which was designed by Pietro Frua at Stabilimente Farina. This vehicle celebrated a jubilee because it was shown exactly 70 years ago at the Concorso d'Eleganza in 1947. The Sunday is the public day and the precious vehicles can be seen in the park of the Villa Erba. In addition to some luxury sedans from the history of BMW, BMW presented the new concept car of the BMW 8 in the Rotunda. <laughs> 